Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Rajai. Today we are going to learn about the topic of achieving effectiveness as an engineer, which covers steps for right start in a new job, importance of communication skills, ways to remain academically competent, position of women and minority engineering, and engineering responsibilities, and techniques to manage time. Please listen to the following PowerPoint presentation and I will return at the end of it to discuss the key points. Chapter 17 Achieving Effectiveness as an Engineer and Special Topics Personal technology is divided into Ethics Time Management Career Diversity and Global In this chapter we will be discussing about career. Chapter Objectives Discuss steps in getting off to a right start in a new job. Explain why communication skills are important to an engineer. Discuss ways to remain technically competent in the engineering field. Discuss the position of women and minorities in engineering. Discuss techniques to manage time. Your career. Getting off to right start, you Make your mark in first few years Go extra mile and meet deadlines Look for visibility Learn the corporate culture Getting off to right start, boss Be careful in selection Understand the boss Keep boss informed Make boss's job easy. Getting off to right start, associates. Don't invade another division. Make your complaints to the person responsible. Keep old school ties. You are the company's representative. Career stages, super, 1957. Growth 0 to 14. Exploration 15 to 24 Establishment 24 to 44 Maintenance 45 to 65 Disengagement stage, in which physical and mental powers decline, and participation in the working world changes and then stops. Charting your career Operational Research and design Management Entrepreneurial Consulting Writing An academic Effective communication Active listening Nonverbal Written report Oral brief Visual aids and grapevine staying technically competent knowledge explosion master technical literature continuing education on the job activities and technical societies professional societies get involved do presentations Write papers Professional activity Accreditation Professional registration And certification Diversity Below table shows the percent of bachelor degrees owned by women Percentage of bachelor's degree in engineering owned by women, in 1985 is, 14.5%, in 1991, 15.6%, in 2000, 20.6%. In 2000, 20 Percentage of bachelor's degree in engineering technology owned by women, in 1985 is, 11%, in 1991, 11.1%, in 2000, 
10.3%. Below table shows the percent of bachelor degrees by minorities. In engineering, African Americans, in 1985, 2.6%, in 1991, 3.6%, in 2000, 5%. Asian Americans, in 1985, 5.8%, in 1991, 9.9%, .9 in 2000, 11.8%. Hispanic Americans, in 1985, 2.8%, in 1991, 4.2%, in 2000, 6.5%. Native Americans, in 1985, 0.3%, in 1991, 0.2%, in 2000, 0.5%. In engineering technology, African Americans, in 1985, 6.2%, in 1991, 4.7%, in 2000, 8.2%. Asian Americans, in 1985, 2.6%, in 1991, 3.2%, in 2000, 5.5%. Hispanic Americans, in 1985, 2.6%, in 1991, 2.4%, in 2000, 4.9%. Native Americans, in 1985, 0.5%, in 1991, 0.2%, in 2000, 0.7%. Time Management Managing Your Time, Time Wasters Inadequate Information Ineffective Delegation Telephone interruption Meetings Unclear communication Crises Unfinished tasks Drop in visitors Indecision or procrastination Lack of self-discipline Tools for time management List goals Set priorities. Develop action list. Develop time log. Handle mail once. And consider your energy cycle and environment. In this chapter, we discuss basic information of your roadmap in technical career. We discuss how to work with others, how do you manage yourself, how do you communicate both verbally and in writing. Remember, one of the top complaints of all companies regarding recent graduates is that they have poor communication and interpersonal skills. Since vast majority of our students, especially in our program, comes from different cultures, I recommend you to get out of your comfort zone and interact with the students of other nationalities to get a better understanding of their culture which will be beneficial to you in work environment. Since English is not our first language, I also recommend to spend extra time to hone your communication skill. Thank you.